Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey. Is it eight o'clock? I'm not sure. Oh, I can't wait until I get an office. I can't wait till we're moved into our new house and I have an office because I come in Sophie's room on her vanity and it's like a mess and I have to like clear stuff off, throw it on her bed so I can get set up. Yeah, I'm sharing a desk with my nine-year-old daughter. Hey guys. Hey Sabrina. Okay guys, so this video is going to be, I'm going to keep this really short. This is not going to be an hour long video, not even a half an hour long video. I'm going to be short and to the point. Um, and hey Sabrina, and just fill you guys in. So this is a video by the name, by the way, my name is Ashley Will, uh, for you, those of you who don't know me. Um, and I, I was planning on doing this video training, if you want to call it that just video chat talk in um, my team page tonight. I posted in my team this morning, hey guys, you know, I've had so many people sending me these articles and uh, you guys know Facebook made changes, especially if you are in network marketing or you're a small business owner or you have a business page for your business, this video is for you. This is totally shareable too, feel free to share. Um, and if you are watching live right now, get, leave me, please leave me a one. And if you are watching um, this on the replay, which many of you probably will, um, just type replay in the comments. I would love to connect with my replay watchers. Okay, so like I said, I was planning on doing this uh, in my team tonight and I thought, I'm just going to do this on my personal page because my personal page is really filled up with a lot of direct sales people, network marketing people. I have a lot of friends that have small businesses like brick and mortar businesses and they have business pages and all of that. So if you are a business owner, you have probably seen um, the new changes to roll out, right? Where Facebook is really going to be limiting um, business posts business pages um, being seen, business pages now. Uh, and I just made a post on my personal page just a few days ago. I was really starting to question, you know, I do have a business page and I don't like really use it. I really just, I just don't use it because I don't get a lot of traffic there. I really uh, run my, my business for my personal page. And that's something else that I wanna talk to you guys about. How are you running your business? So business pages, even ones that have, you know, 50,000 followers, likes on there, they're going to be drastically hurt by this change. Um, but the way I train all of my team, and my team will vouch for this, the way I train my team is to build real relationships with people on Facebook and attraction marketing. Yes, that's it. Those are my two big secrets attraction marketing and building relationships. People are so sick of being spammed by annoying direct sales people. I mean, when I see it, I, I click that unfollow button so, so many times. Um, I just, it's so spammy. It turns people off. Um, if you're even negative in my newsfeed, I have to unfollow you. I have to keep my path clean and clear and positive. Um, and I, I really train my team, do not go and start a business page. I see so many people come into this business or they start a small business and they start a business page and I'm like, oh, it's gonna take a really long time to get that built up. And Facebook really wants you to pay to promote these pages, your business pages. Um, and even on paid posts, those are really going to start being limited now because people have been complaining on Facebook. Facebook is a business, right? Facebook is trying to compete with YouTube over here, okay? And people on Facebook are complaining about what they're seeing in their newsfeed. So Facebook is going to get smart about this. They're going to take out anything businessy, spammy. Uh, anything like that. I, I train my team. I even say, guys, these corporate graphics are great, 
Stop posting them. Stop posting your website. Stop posting your website on your personal page. It's, it's not good for business. Stop posting your corporate graphics. I am genuinely, no matter what company you are with, um, direct sales company you're with, I am genuinely trying to offer you um, advice at building your business. My number one piece of advice is create your own content. Okay, create your own content. Okay, do not be a walking billboard for your company. You have got to brand yourself. And I'm talking to my team too. Okay, my mom's even on my mom's on my team. Um, but you've got to build your own brand, and you have to personalize your business. You cannot be say I'm going to use my company for example. I'm with Limelight by Alcone. If you go and look at my personal page, you are not going to see limelight, 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 limelight. I am not limelight. Yes, I, um, I'm a beauty guy with limelight. That is a um, big part of my life, but I am not limelight. You have to build relationships with people on Facebook. Facebook wants to show you your friends and family and quality people, quality, I'm using these quotes, quality posts first. That is what is going to be seen in the Facebook newsfeed. So you have got to create your own content. Personalize it. People want to see you, your face. Um, I've been experimenting on Facebook over the past couple of weeks and I'll throw up um, like a, a graphic or something I've screenshot or um, copy and pasted and I will put up okay like five likes. I did a picture this morning. Um, usually I'll do a quote or something. A quote that I screenshot on Facebook and I will put up a positive quote. Okay, usually I like to do that on Sunday mornings. This morning I took a picture of myself and I did a positive um, quote about something that my family likes to do on Sundays. Okay, 10 times the amount of traffic on my page. That right there is everything. Okay, personalize it. Facebook wants to see you. Your friends and family want to see you. They don't want to see these company banners and these flash sales. And that's not why people are on Facebook. People are not on Facebook to um, buy stuff. They're not. People are on Facebook for relationships, to build relationships. And my team, the beauty crew, I'm talking to you guys. Please build relationships. Build relationships and then bring your business into it. But relationships is the number one thing. When you build that relationship, then people are going to be curious and people are going to ask you about your business. I don't need to even post my website. If um, I post a picture of myself and my three, you know, my three favorite um, anti-aging products and I hold up those products and a picture of my face, okay? People do not buy products. People do not join companies. People buy people. People join people. My customers purchase from me versus other beauty guys because they connect with me. They know me personally. And that sounds weird because I would say 85 to 90% of my customers I have never met before. But we feel like, and I shouldn't even say we feel like, we have this strong relationship and this strong bond and we've never even met before. All through Facebook because I put myself out there. I put my family um, on Facebook. I genuinely connect with people and my customers and my friends and my family. That's why I'm on here. Um, I, I've been posting crazy videos of us sled riding. I haven't been posting, uh, you know, flash sales. Well, we don't have flash sales. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? When, when I scroll through my newsfeed and it's been getting a lot better over these past, um, I would say really over the past week because Facebook is really cracking down and there's going to be a stop to it. So you're really, you're trying to post all about your business. Stop, stop. Post about yourself. Put yourself out there. Put yourself out there first. And then the business follows. Um, I want to touch base on business pages. I'm really against. 
and uh, some of you guys may have business pages that do amazingly well and that is great that is great okay but for my people that are questioning is a business page worth it this is my personal opinion okay I do not believe that they um, are worth it not like your personal page I train my team to go all out on their per their personal page is where it's at forget about your business page groups okay let's touch base on groups really quick groups have gotten out of control like throw me some hearts up if you think groups have gotten out of control <laughs> like seriously put a crazy face in the comments right now if you think if you think groups have gotten out of control they you get added to so many every single day I don't even know I cannot even keep up with the groups I'm added into I at the end of the day I try and go and leave 30 or 40 I cannot even keep up that is insane to me that is insane with my company I really don't think groups are necessary because we don't we're not allowed to have flash sales um, or do big giveaways so a group I, I don't think for my new beauty guides I do not think is necessary now I do I do have a group um, because this is where I do think it's necessary I have a group and I like to have a closer relationship with my customers in there that's kind of where we bond a little bit we kind of take it a step further like behind the scenes and if you keep it like that and you keep it intimate then I totally think that it's a plus now if you're with a company that does offer flash sales and you do giveaways and all that take that to your group okay take um, your flash sales and all that to your group but stop doing it on your personal page because Facebook is throwing it out the window they're taking that out nobody is going to see them because guess what it's annoying people have complained to Facebook people are stopped People are going to other avenues. People are going to Instagram. People are going to Snapchat. People are going to YouTube because of how annoying Facebook is becoming um, because of all this content that's in their newsfeed that they don't even want to see. So people aren't getting on as often. So Facebook is a smart business, right? And they're realizing this and they're taking it out. So my advice to you is to personalize your business. Brand yourself. Um, don't don't breathe and eat and drink all the kool-aid of your company okay put your own personal touch in it create your own content that is my biggest piece of advice is please create your own content put your face out there put your pictures make your own pictures um, step away from these corporate and these um, these corporate graphics make your own pictures put your face out there because like I said before people are not on Facebook to buy products they're not on Facebook to join companies they will join people okay they will join people and they will buy people why would someone want to this is what I always tell my team too why there's there's um, you know how many beauty gods around you let's say why would somebody pick you over you or why would somebody pick you over me or why would someone pick me over you you know people are going to connect with your personality and if you're not um, running your business in my opinion the correct way they are going to go elsewhere um, to buy or to join or whatever it is so that's it guys um, it's super short and I'm trying to keep it short and sweet um, you have to cut Hey Courtney, and if you guys have any questions at all for me, please leave. I've done a ton of research. I could go on and on and on and on forever. I've done a ton of research on these Facebook changes and I am freaking excited about it. And if you're running your business the way you should be, you should not be the slightest bit worried. I've had people message me even from other companies. They're like, oh my gosh, like this is the end of my business. And I'm like, this is amazing. This, these are amazing changes. Things that annoy people are going away, are going away. Put yourself in your audience and your network shoes, okay? What you're putting out there on social media, I mean, would you want to see it? That's, that's really um, how I run my business and how I train my team um, is to not make a business page, not to even make a group, and to really, the number one thing is to start to brand yourself on Facebook on your personal page create your own content and personalize your own business 
So that's it, guys. I hope you all took something. Hey, Teresa, hope you guys took something away from this. Uh, we've been sleigh riding like all day. Uh, we slept sled ride until it was dark, and it was crazy. They were going down like ice hills. It was crazy. I didn't go. I sat in the car where, on my heated seat. So, <laughs> all right, guys. If you're just hopping on, just go back and catch the replay, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye.